If you're anything like me, you're going to update your Zcam E2 using the CFast card. So you put that update.zip file in the root. There it is. I'm going to eject that thing and pull it out. This is my EgoDisk 512 gigabyte CFast card. And then we're going to put it in the E2. Little side door. Click it in. Power on. Hold for about three seconds. The little lights flash. And we're up. So let's go into the menu. Down to system. Look at the version. 0 0.80. You hit the OK button and it's going to say, do you want to upgrade? Yes. It's going to go black. The tally light on the back turns on, that red light down there. So it's doing stuff. Uh-oh, oh, we get a message saying, I can't find the update file. And yeah, it just doesn't work. So let's go into the connect menu. We see that it's set to direct. We're going to change that to router. And then we come back and we'll see that the, there is no ethernet IP address for the camera. So let's plug in our ethernet cable. And there we go. Now we got an IP address from my router on my home network. So let's go to a browser. We're going to browse to the IP address. Which is 10.0.1.30 slash dub 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 slash index dot html and then you'll see that it says the version 0 0.80 it's actually reading the camera right here i'll zoom in to get a little bit better view so we'll click on controller we can also look at the photos or the video and look at that we're previewing the camera we have total control of everything go back to normal size on the right we can see we got the menu just like it is in the camera there's my video settings there's the system settings, and under miscellaneous, we'll see upgrade right there. Let's click it, and then we get to choose the update file. So there's update.zip. Hit OK. Hit upload. It says, do you want to upgrade? Yes. Hit OK, and we can see the camera goes blank again. It loses connection because it's restarting. And after a lengthy pause... Oh, going to upgrade. That's good. That's better than before. And then there's a little meter that shows you the progress. And after another lengthy pause, comes back, and then we're going to go through this little setup again. Select your language, the frequency, the date and time, and then we're in. And I'll go and check the menu, system, version 0.81. So it worked great, and there you have it. That's how you update the firmware in your Zcam E2.